the Western Tarsier. Have you even heard of this animal? I'm here in Dramacut Forest in Borneo, Malaysia, and last night I had the amazing opportunity to see this cool nocturnal primate. I'm Dr. Stephanie Shuttler, and I empower scientists and inspire you to conserve our natural world. In this video, I'm going to talk about how cool a western tarsier is and show you my footage of this amazing primate. We got up close and personal, and I am just so excited to share this animal. These guys are really small, only about five inches. It's about the size of your hand. You can see how cool their hands and feet are, for lack of better words. They have these suction pads on the bottom. Oh, we just said hi. They have these suction pads that help them stick to the tree um, or the, the plant stem, and this is where they hang out a lot of the time when they're looking for food. They are hunters. They will go after insects, but they even eat vertebrates like frogs, snakes, birds, and even bats. We saw this one through its eye shine. We drove around the park with a spotlight and we caught a glimpse of the orangish eye of this one. So I, I was on top of the car. I quickly went down. I was super afraid that it was going to hop away, but it was such a cooperative animal and it stayed put. It looks like we're shining the light kind of directly at it, but we're doing it more from this side. They have really big eyes. In fact, they have the biggest eyes given their body size in all of the mammals. They can turn their heads about 180 degrees in each direction, which means that they can turn their heads almost 360 degrees around. The headhunter tribe in Borneo actually thought that seeing a tarsier would mean that you would lose your head. But, of course, it's not true. They're just little primates trying to get by, eating insects, looking for a mate. Just doing stuff like that. You know, tarsier stuff. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please share it with a friend and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have lots of videos on Malaysia and the cool animals that I found. And you can also find me at fancyscientist.com.